Hey guys, my name's Allison and welcome back to my channel. All right, a little bit of a different scenery today, um, but also it's been a really long time. So the reason we're not filming in my office is because it's a wreck, a wreck um, from getting my shop open. I don't have a couch in there anymore. Like <laughs> I now have a bike in there. It is just a mess in there. Um, and the reason I'm not filming at the shop is because I'm off today and I didn't want to like make a trip to the shop just to film this. I have everything I needed here at home. Um, so you all get to enjoy the view of my guest bedroom today. Um, but you know, you can look at the plants if you get bored because this is like, I love this room. I love this corner. So this is where we are for today. Um, but welcome back guys. I cannot believe um, I haven't had time to talk to you guys. I mean, let's be honest. I can believe that I haven't had time with opening a shop and everything. And we have so much to get caught up on, um, which we will just have to do, you know, over the course of a couple of videos. Um, so bear with me on that. But today I am wanting to talk about, which if you looked and read the title of the video, you probably know, I got my very own paw mat. Um, I'm so excited. It has literally been a dream like I remember when it first showed up to my door and I like opened it and I was like oh my gosh like this is mine um so for those of you that like maybe haven't seen my palm mat review video if you don't know what palm mat is palm mat is a company and they make mats for your table mats for the floor mats for the crates tubs you can literally use them everywhere I've been using palm mats um since I was in school to become a groomer. So like we're going on like five years now. I've been using palm mats. They reached out to me. I wanted to say last year, almost, it might almost be two years since, from then. COVID time like has messed up my brain. Like I can't figure out the timeline of stuff anymore, but I think it's been almost two years ago. Uh, palm mat asked me to be an ambassador with them. And I was so excited because it's a product that I truly believe in. And as you guys know, if you've been around on my channel or Instagram or anywhere else, um, I just don't like, I won't rep a company that I don't support or haven't been supporting. I've been reached out by other companies and you know, we'd love to have you. And I'm like, that's cool. But like, I've never used your products. So I'm not just gonna agree you know to anybody so palm mat was a really special one to my heart because it's a product i've used and loved for years um and this year the release of my vario mat came out actually no it came out last year see COVID i mean like i literally cannot think of time references like nothing makes sense anymore whatever we're gonna get through this video i promise but i want to show you all my mat for the first time here on youtube it's been out for a little while and i've talked about it on instagram some but we're gonna go into detail why i chose the colors i chose um the logo on it you know there's a little catchphrase on there um i just want to talk about like why i chose everything because i haven't actually talked about that if you subscribe to my patreon you know you've maybe gotten a little bit here and there of like why i've chose certain things um i know we've gone into detail about it there and patreon also got to know about the release of my map before anybody else did so another reason to subscribe to my patreon because you have exclusive content that gets posted there nikki is just dying to say hi today She's very upset with me because her brother Andy got to come home yesterday. So she is no longer an only child. It's okay. It's okay. I gotta put you down. All right. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. Are y'all ready? I'm so excited. This is my mat. I, I am obsessed. Let me... Let me get it out of the plastic for you. So when Paul Matt um, said that they were going to be doing like mats with, oh, sorry plant, that they were going to be doing mats with their ambassadors, um, I immediately, you know, had an idea of what I wanted to do. So let's start with 
this pink side, all right? Um, this is this side is just for the everyday groomer. Um, it matches my salon, so you know, I, so I, I wanted that in there. And if you actually look at the colors of my logo, this is probably like as close as I could have gotten with um, my darker pink as the catchphrase there, proud to be a groomer. And then I don't know how well it comes across on camera. There we go. You can actually see my logo. It is embossed there on the mat. Um, so like this, I have two shades of pink in my um, personal logo. So we had actually done the process of all of my mat designing before I even opened the salon. So it has been in the works for quite some time. So my like salon logo, all of that stuff wasn't really in the mix yet. Um, however, like I said, I, this pink is the color of my salon because it is based off my personal logo and my salon theme and logo and colors and everything was based off my personal logo that I have. So we've got a couple, you know, branding. All right. Um, but this is where we're at. So this is a 36 inch mat, which is like competition size. I can't even get all of it in the frame. All right. It is what it is, guys. But it is kind of a pinky salmony color um it's hard it's so hard to get the colors to come off like true in like video or like even some of the pictures like on the website and stuff so if you're unsure on like what the exact colors look like they look more correct on like my instagram when i have a dog on top and they're like on the table right um because i think on the website this like slate blue color comes off pretty gray uh but it is definitely more of a blue gray so that is kind of why i chose the two-tone pinks on this side with the logo now palmette has their logo on the other side of the matte embossed whereas my logo is down here next to the little catchphrase saying proud to be a groomer. Um, the reason I chose proud to be a groomer, it, it really hits hard for me because, um, you know, going through this profession, I didn't have any like family support. You all, we've, we've talked about it, you know, they support me now, but in the beginning, um, it definitely was just like, so they thought it was just like the dirty job in the back of the pet store. Um, you know, it was just a job and it still is a job that I feel like the general public, you know, looks down on or doesn't take like as seriously. Um, and it really hurts me a lot when, um, you know, us pet professionals and groomers aren't taken seriously. I worked very hard at my job. Um, I don't think I've ever worked harder on anything in my life than my profession. And, um, to not be taken seriously as a professional, uh, it it's hard because this is my whole life. I put so much into this, just like so many of you guys do. Um, so proud to be a groomer was something that I've been saying for a little bit. Like, you know, I'm proud to be a groomer. Like when I first became a groomer and people asked me what I did, because of the stigma behind of pet grooming and it's like not a glorified job and like all that sort of thing, I never wanted to say I was a groomer and I'm ashamed to say that, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I was ashamed to say like, I'm a dog groomer because of the stigma behind the pet industry grooming profession world, right? Um, and so now when people ask me, um, I've, I've changed, I've changed it in myself. Like, you know, I don't care if like, you don't see how awesome this is. I wish you did. And I try so hard through my YouTube and Instagram and Patreon and Facebook and all my classes and dog shows and like all the things and the effort that I put out there. I try my hardest for the general public to understand how amazing this job is and how to like, you need to take us seriously. Like we are professionals and we love what we do and we love our animals. And, um, you know, we're not just the dirty job in the back of the pet store. We're not just the people that couldn't get a, go through college and get some kind of other job that required a, deg a degree. Like, you know, we're not, we're not those people. We're not the dropouts that, you know, everyone, everyone I think has that stigma in their head about. Um, so I, I don't know when it happened for me, but at some point I was just like, no, you know what? Like I'm tired of trying to create more words when people ask what I do. I'd be like, I'm a pet stylist or I'm, 
you know, I, I professionally groom dogs. I would just try to like, I avoided the word groomer for a while. I don't, it just didn't seem like it gave the respect to the profession that I wanted, that we deserve. So I, I avoided that word for a while, but um, at some point I was just like, no, no, I am proud to be a groomer. I am, I am, I am a groomer. I am a dog groomer. I am a pet professional. Like I am all of the things. And just because you all might not understand that like grooming is not just that dropout career, like I don't care. I know how much work I put into this and I am dang proud to be a groomer. So um, that is where this came from for me, the proud to be a groomer. Um, it was also just kind of, you know, a, a something for me to see at work and constantly tell myself like, you know, you're be proud to be a groomer. You've put so much work into this um, and it doesn't matter what other people think or what other people say. Um, you've worked hard and you've done it. So you'll be proud to be a groomer. And that's that's what it means for me. And I'm sure everybody can read that and pick something else that it means something for you personally. Um, but I just wanted to spill it all out there of like what my mat and means to me and like all the things that I pieced together to build my personal mat. So I asked Chanel, the owner of Palm Mat, I was like, can we, like, I don't think it's ever been done before, but I really want to put like words on my mat. And she was like, what? words and I was like yes I want to put words on my mat like a little like a tiny little sentence so thank you Chanel for believing in me on that and making it happen um so it is the first mat ever with words on it so I'm very excited that, that you know I get to groom every day and see you know no be proud be proud to be a groomer it was just it was hard in the beginning you know but um yeah so that's why it's just proud to be a groomer um and then we talked about, you know, it's pink because that was, that was my color scheme. So my personal logo that I was talking about earlier is actually that right there. It has my A.B. Sebastian little signature matte thing on there. Um, so that's kind of all I have to say about the pink side. The like salmon-y pink color. Let's go over to the blue side. So the reason I chose the blue side, nobody, I don't know if anybody knows. I don't know. I'm not sure if I've talked about it. Um, I know I have on Patreon, but I don't think I've ever talked about it on Instagram. And I know I've talked about it in some of my classes I've done, but this is their first time like we've talked about it in real life. All right. So the blue side took a bit of work. Okay. Many of you all know I compete. I'm a competition groomer. Um, I do shows and stuff. And I love Pomat. I used Pomat forever, but a lot of their colors they had across the board were very bright. Um, you know, which looks good. It makes the dog stand out. But all my dog, all my competition dogs are white. I don't know how I ended up with this curse because trying to keep your dog white is like, why did I do this to myself? But I have Bichons. I have a white center poodle. She's technically cream, but whatever. Um, so I was struggling with those more brighter colored mats in my white dogs. When I would put the dog on the mat and I wanted to take their picture, you know, we're done grooming. I have a reflection from like how bright this was, like the really bright pinks and the bright greens. And, you know, I love the colors, but they were just too bright because they were reflecting on my white dogs. And so when I would have my picture, I would have this huge like green underlay of my on my white dog and I was like ah like it my dog's not green I swear like my dog is white and I try so hard to keep it white so I want it to look white in the photo um so the blue side was definitely catered towards me like this side I was like you know this is kind of like my everyday like everybody can find a purpose for this and I'm sure you know you might just like this color but the reason I chose this color is because it is the correct hue, like tone, that it doesn't reflect on my white dogs. Now, with that being said, I tested. I got to test several blue colors. Bless Chanel for working with me on this. I'm so sorry. I was probably, I was probably the most high maintenance when it came to picking out their mat, but I love you. Thank you. All right. So, I got to test several colors to figure out what hue was not going to reflect onto my white dog. All right. So I finally settled on this and you know, I did, I didn't want like, 
I wanted this to be very like everyone friendly, you know, not everybody likes pink. Not everybody is like a pink and purple person. Um, you know, we didn't have very many um, darker colors, you know, so I thought this was a very good color scheme that anybody can vibe with um, as well as this blue color did not show up as like a reflection on my white dogs. So finally I was like, yes, I found the one. This is it. It's like a blue gray. It's like a slate blue color. And again, it has my logo Ooh. on this side. There, Ooh, you can really see it nice on the blue side. And then it has the palm at logo on the other side. So um, it's 36 inches in length, which is the like size that competition groomers use, those folding tables that we use, that's, how, that's the size of that table. Um, but you can use these, even if your table is longer, you know, it'll still sit in the middle. The dog will majority be on the mat. It's definitely big enough for like, I have, like I said, I have a standard poodle. Like it is big enough for any size dog. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, and then, with that, having my personal logo on there, I shouldn't have worn a long sleeve, but um, that logo is actually my tattoo. So if you all didn't know, it is actually my Bashan tattoo. My logo is made after my tattoo. And then my tattoo is actually made after my um, Nikki, my Bashan's dad. So it, it was a very small world. <laughs> I went to go get my Bishan tattoo. I pulled this photo up that I had found of a dog that was showing, showed the tattoo artist. I was like, this is the outline I want. Um, we, we got it done. I go to work for my breeder. I work for her once a month. So I'm over there and I was like, look at my new tattoo. And she was like, what photo is that? And so I pulled it up and I was like, I had to, had him do it off of this outline of this dog. And she was like, that's crazy. That's your dog's dad. And I was like, what? So, um, yeah, long story short, my tattoo is my dog's dad and that is what is on my mat. So my mat logo is my tattoo, but that is it guys. I just wanted to give you all the rundown of my mat. I cannot believe it. Um, they are only available for a limited time. Once they sell out guys, they're sold out. Okay. I know I've made this video pretty late in the game talking about my mat, why I chose what I chose. Um, so if you want one, I'm gonna link it below in the description. You can use code Alley 5 when you order to save $5 on your purchase of any palm mat, in any time, forever. Um, but if you want my palm mat, I suggest you get it ASAP because I don't know the exact number of how many of them are left, but I will say, I know it's not too many. So <laughs> make sure you grab them now while you can. I, I don't know if they'll come back, um, but I'm just so excited and thrilled that I had it to begin with. So if you want one, you better get it now. I have a secret stash for myself that I will forever hold and cherish that I will never groom on. I'm just gonna look at it and be like, man, I have my own mat. Like that's so cool. Um, since it has, has been a product that I have used, for years, and it's products that I believe in. So, like I said, if you're not familiar with paw mats, my specific mat is the one that's gonna go on your grooming table for your pets. Um, they are antimicrobial, meaning that they're not going to hold bacteria like a yoga mat would. Um, they don't hold hair, they don't hold water. Water literally like rolls up and falls right off of it. If I had one, I'd show you. Um, I absolutely love them. You know, they will get average wear and tear. So if you are just in love with my mat, I highly suggest ordering two because like I said, once they're gone, I'm pretty sure they're gone. They're not coming back. So if you like, if you like this color scheme, if you like me and you want more than one, I highly suggest that. Um, cause average wear and tear, you know, will, will wear it down over time. Um, so that's why I'm, I have a couple for myself that I'm just going to keep and cherish and never use. <laughs> um, but I am just so thrilled. Thank you, Chanel, for the opportunity to, you know, have my own mat. Um, and thank you to everyone who has already bought one. Uh, I have seen so many of them out in the wild. As I scroll through Instagram, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that color. And I'm like, that's my mat. And so I'm always sharing it on my story whenever I see it. So thank you guys 
for your endless support. I'm sorry I haven't been here on YouTube. My life has been insane to say the least, um, but it is starting to get better and I plan to be here more often um, and I can't wait to hang out with you guys. So I just wanted to show you all my mat. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for, you know, vibing with me in my guest bedroom. I'm sorry everything is all over the place, but it'll get better, okay? So <laughs> you all have always hang in there with me, so I have no doubt that you cared at all that we're just chilling in my guest bedroom it is like one of my favorite rooms in the house so like maybe we'll just make this the vibe for the youtube channel for a while um but until next time guys we'll talk later love you all make sure you like and subscribe comment all the things Some more videos are definitely going to be in the works and coming soon sorry i've been mia but i love you all so much and all your support always um thank you chanel and palm mat for my mat and for just sponsoring me it is such an amazing company they are a woman-owned business um, a minority-owned business they are amazing if you ever get the chance to support them whether you buy my mat or not you know maybe it's not for you maybe you don't like the colors you don't vibe with it that's cool they have so many other options to go check out so make sure you make sure you check that out i'm gonna put the link to their website in my mat in the description for you guys um, but until next time Thanks. Love you guys. Bye.